Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing free cam, which is something that you can use for spectating and other things like that. I'm sorry I haven't posted in like three weeks. That's just kind of like how life is. Yeah, test stuff. Yeah. Okay, but uh, yeah. So we're go just going to be making a uh, free cam like uh, the one that Roblox Studio has. You right click and you can move your screen. You can do WASD, and it works perfectly fine. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing. And just ignore this script. Uh, that's just the thing that I made to actually like, that was the beginning script. I was just too lazy to make a new uh, place, or a new game for it. Okay, and I'm not gonna be putting the scripts in the description today because uh, my ad my average view duration for every single video is around 15 seconds, which means that almost all of you just click onto the video, look at, make sure it's the right thing, and just uh, get the script. And I kind of want you guys to actually write the code because it it just helps to write it, even if you don't really understand it, it still helps. But uh, yeah, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get all the variables. Well. You need to make a local script in starter player scripts. I don't know why I didn't say that. But you need to make a local script. I'll just name this to, like, free cam. Yes, okay. And, okay. So let's just set the variables. The first thing we're going to get is the camera. I'm going to set that equal to workspace oh, dot camera. The second thing that we're, er, the, now we're going to get the game services or like the services. The first service that we're gonna get is the uh, user input service, so UIS. We're gonna set that equal to game get service user input service. Okay. Now, oops, we're gonna get the render set the render service, or not render service, run service. And uh, I'm gonna say that's RS, and that's gonna be equal to game get service run service. Okay. Now we're gonna set the camera type, so camera dot camera type, oh, camera dot camera type, is equal to scriptable. S nope, sorry, enum dot camera type dot scriptable. And now, well, that's just gonna make it so we can um, actually change this uh, camera instead of it just following the player the whole time. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna act, we're gonna create two new variables, uh, one called camera rotation, oh, turn on caps lock, rotation, and we set that equal to vector2 dot new, and that's going to be zero, zero, and we're going to create a position, and we're set that equal to a vector3 dot new, zero, twenty, zero. Okay, so the camera rotation is basically the rotation that your camera is facing, and the position is, well, the position that your camera's at. And I just set uh, the Y to 20 because I want it to be above the ground and not inside the ground. Okay, so we're going to say RS, uh, render, oh, RS dot render stepped, connect, connect function yes okay oh, okay so what this is doing is every single time that the game is rendered so like every single frame it will play the, it'll run this script so this is the fastest uh that you can run something without the game crashing and that's kind of what we want okay so the first thing we're going to say is if you yes so if user input service uh m is oh no is mouse button pressed and we're gonna check if enum dot oh, mouse no not uh enum dot user type user input type <laughs> I cannot speak okay dot mouse button two yeah because we want to right click then if it is I'm gonna set mouse or no not mouse uis uh ugh, uis dot mouse 
behavior, and we're set that equal to enum dot mouse behavior dot uh, lock current lock current position. Okay, and we're gonna create an else for this. So if it is not, then we're just gonna set the uis dot mouse behavior equal to enum dot mouse behavior dot default. Okay. So what this is doing is checking if you're right clicking and if you are, then it's going to lock the mouse position so you can't move your mouse. And then when you stop right clicking, it's going to set it back to normal. So just like this, where you, when you right click, it locks your mouse. And when you stop, you can move your mouse again. Okay. So now that we have that, we can set camera, oh, camera dot camera type. And we're going to set that, wait, no. Well, I mean, we don't really need that because it already sets it. Yeah. Why am I saying this? I don't know. Okay. Uh, wait, why am I saying that? Okay. Well, uh, I don't know why I thought that I had to do that, but we do not. Okay. So we're going to get the mouse delta. Oh. Okay. So we're going to get the uh, local mouse delta. Eh, local mouse delta is equal to... Um, UIS get mouse delta. Okay. And uh, this is just the mouse delta. It's too confusing for me to really like explain it to you guys. So you can look at the documentation if you want, but uh, just it's kind of like the mouse delta, you know? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to set the camera rotation equal to, well, not equal to, minus equal to mouse delta divided by like around 175. That's just a good number that I found because it's in between 150 and 200. This is basically the slowness. So if it's 200, then it would be slow. It would be like kind of, or it would be slower. If it, if it was 150, then it would be kind of fast. So uh, I, I just found that 175 was a good number. Okay. So now we're going to say, well, we're going to create two new variables, the local camera uh, rotation, I said rotation, rotation, C, uh, C frame, frame, yeah, C frame, okay, and then we're going to set that equal to C frame dot from orientation, camera rotation dot Y camera rotation dot x and zero okay so basically this is equivalent to from euler angles uh, y x z and it's just kind of better than from euler angles y x z it just like, looks kind of better so uh why we need to do this is it kind of so well it sets the c frame or it makes this into a c frame and it reverses the um, y, well, it, it sets the y, then the x, then the z, because you want to set the z last, well, ugh, I, I can never speak, it, if you just do it normally, if you just make a normal c-frame, it'll get the z before the y, and we don't want that, so, because we want, okay, <laughs> so we want to set the uh, y before the z, or else it'll be wonky. So I just use from, from orientation. You could use uh, from Euler angles y x z, but I just think from orientation looks better. Okay. So now I'm gonna create a variable that's just like a quality of life variable because then we won't have to uh, use this an uh, annoying thing uh, too much because it's like kind of long. Not really, but it's kind of long. So we're gonna say. Uh, Local look vector is equal to camera dot, oh, just camera dot C frame dot look vector. Okay. Cause we're going to use this in uh, the code down here. Okay. This is the hard part. Actually making it so that you can move. Oh wait, actually, you know what? Let's just uh, show you that it works. Okay. So camera dot C frame is equal to camera rotation c-frame okay i'm just going to show you that the uh 
Actually, I'm just going to show you without the divided by 175. Okay, so let's see what happens. When we're here, it moves, right? But it's so fast. It's like impossible to see anything. So, that's why, oh, that's why I, div oh, yeah, okay. That's why I divide this, uh, divide the speed by 175, so makes it 175 times uh, slower. Which, this will make it a ton better, because, look, it looks good. It's good. Yes. Okay, yeah. But, uh, so this works, and... Now, let's actually make it so that you can move forward and backwards. So, well, forward, backwards, left, and right. We're going to say, this is the uh, forwards that we're going to do right now. So, if UIS is key down, uh, enum, enum.keycode.w, then it is going to set the or er, pause plus equals vector three dot new okay you ready for this look vector dot x look vector dot y and look vector dot z because i'm pretty sure the look vector is a um c frame but i'm not totally sure and then we're just going to multiply this by one okay so, you don't need this multiply by one, you know? I'm just gonna get rid of that. Well, okay, uh... So now, this... Okay, I'm just gonna show you that it works. So this should work. If code is good. Nope, code is not good. Because we didn't actually use pause anywhere. This pause, you know what? I'll just print pause. Print pause. That is not how you do it. Okay. Print pause. So, the pause will actually be changing. See this? It is changing. It is going up. So, it is working. It's just not actually using it anywhere. So, how would you uh, set the camera's C-frame equal to a rotation and a position? Well, I found that you can just set, you can just multiply the pause by the rotation. And that will can't do that because you need to set it to a C frame. Okay, so C frame dot new because you can't multiply a vector by a C frame. That just doesn't work. So this should give us the position and the rotation. So we can move around forward, only forward, and rotate the screen. This is cool. I mean, you can also do a 360, but that's in a later video probably if you guys want that tell me if you want to know how to fix that it's not that hard but tell me if you want to have a video on that okay so this good okay so now let's actually make it so there's an s so s fun time okay so if s is pressed then we're just going to multiply this by negative one so it's basically just reverse this reverse the vector three dot or the vector three and just to make it look better just for the sake of looking better i'm going to add times one here so that it looks good like not just a random times negative one here there's also a times one here i mean that can also be your speed too so you can uh, have a speed variable there. Okay, so we can go forward and we can go backward. Cool. And if we hold both of them, we just stand in this, uh, we just are in a standstill. So that is good. Okay, so what we can do is now, well, now we're gonna have to make the A and D. And this is the hard part because how would you get the left and right of a vector? Yeah, you probably don't know. Okay. Well, we're going to have to use something a little bit more advanced than... Uh, well, yeah, just a little bit more advanced. Uh, using cross vector. Okay, yeah. 
cross vector. You might not know what that is. And I'll try and explain it to you after I make the code for it. Okay, so we're gonna uh, get this vector. We're gonna cross, uh, cross, we're gonna get the, nah. Okay, so we're gonna uh, do cross vector three dot new zero one zero. That is our cross, that, that's it. Okay, so what this is right here is the up vector. I have a model to show you. You might have seen this. Yes. Pretend this is your look vector. So that is this thing. And this is your up vector. That's this thing. It's always going to be pointing up. It's not that it's not one of those complicated ones. It's just one that's pointing up. Okay, so this, it's gonna cross it. So what cross does is it gets two vectors and it gets the perpendicular, and it, it gives a perpendicular uh, vector from that. So this thing, I know, cool transition. This is the vector that it'll give out. So what is this? This is the look vector. What is this? This is the right vector. I know, right? So cool. Okay, but this, this cool right vector, it will change. So it will change depending on the rotation of the look vector because the more this gets to the up vector or the closer this gets to the up vector, the longer this gets. So the higher the magnitude and the uh, further away, so if this goes into the ground, kind of, you, you know where that is. This will get a ton shorter. And we don't want that. We really don't. And I'm going to show you what that actually is. So if I hold D, oh, wait, no. It was A, yes, okay. If I hold A, if I'm looking straight down, it almost doesn't move at all. Then when I'm looking straight up, it moves really fast. But if I'm looking straight, it'll just move normally. So, what can we do to fix this? Make You're probably thinking, oh, we can just make it so that uh, this is literally just um, perpen er, this is perpendicular to this. Well, that's too hard. So, what we can do is just make this, this vector here, whatever scale it is, we can uh, do dot unit. I know, right? Okay, dot unit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hover over it. Okay, dot unit, a normalized copy of the vector three that has the same direction as the original, but a magnitude of one. So, this magnitude, you can just throw it at the drain because it'll have the same magnitude each time, I know. So it's so cool, I know, right? You can just throw it out the drain. But uh, yeah, so dot unit fixes everything. Everything that you could possibly ever know in life fixes everything. So we can do the same thing for D. So we can just change that to Z, one. We're basically done. Move around, whatever the angle, it's still the same magnitude. I know, right? So cool. You can go up, you can go down, you can go left, you can go right, you can turn your screen. I know, it's so cool. And yeah, that's, that's free cam for you. I have seen no other YouTube videos on this. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, hopefully I was recording. Yep, I was, okay. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I know you could have just uh, skipped the whole video and just just gotten this code, but hopefully you didn't. Okay, well, I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye.